Hi, this is The Long Life of Wikipedia, Affordances and Trust by Costanza Sartoris, Sasha Piccione and Caterina Cruciani, which is me. This is a project funded by the European Union through the Horizon program within the So Me For Them project. In this project, we bring together literatures regarding trust in social media in the Wikipedia case. Of course, trust is important in all instances where people have to accept some form of vulnerability, which is true in most social interactions, in particular in social media, which have not only become increasingly used and impactful in terms of political discourse, but also offer many potential instances of exploitation. So why did we choose to use Wikipedia as a case in point for our study of trust within social media? Well, Wikipedia has been defined as a very large mm. online platform by the European Union, and mm. it is a very interesting case because it has a clearly stated purpose, that of creating the largest public encyclopedia in the world, accessible to all. Moreover, it has streamlined technical features, um, for instance, for what concerns the structure of the articles, that makes it um, particularly interesting in terms of the definition of the affordances that are developed and used within Wikipedia by the different users. So affordances will be an important focus for this paper. For this case study, we rely on an original data set that was collected last year. As you can see, it involved over 200,000 different individuals, and we ended up with over 10,000 Finnish questionnaires from countries all over the world. In this particular paper, we decided to focus on a slightly smaller data set comprising of 9,892 individuals, um, of which you see some descriptive statistics in the little figures above the blue uh, box. Um, who answered to the generalized trust question that you see there. Of course, since our interest in, is in focusing on how different dimensions of trust matter, we needed to have a classical measure of trust that has been used across different papers and different literatures. Of course, the questionnaire has also more nuanced versions of trust and trustworthiness, some of which we will discuss later. Um, so the key questions that we wanted to address is how, and actually whether, trust and other propensities are able to explain the ways in which different users interact with Wikipedia affordances. And in order to do so, we decided to introduce a specific way to cluster, to classify Wikipedia users based on motives to volunteer. After all, Wikipedians use time and effort to produce knowledge that is accessible to all. So we saw it fit to rely on the literature on volunteer motives. Also, what we would like to do is see whether clusters based on motives to volunteer are um, differently related to technical or internal dimensions of use of Wikipedia and social or external propensities and beliefs that individuals belonging to each cluster have. So this allows us to study affordances using an externally defined uh, lens, that is that of volunteer motives. But let's move on to the volunteer motives. The literature identifies several motives. We were able to recognize five of them within the questions that were posed in the questionnaire. These are organized in two broad headlines. The first one is the other regarding motives, and the second one is the self-regarding motives. As you can see, the other regarding ones relate to the desire to help others or to help a specific entities, whereas the self-regarding motives look at the desire to feel better, do something to feel better, or the desire to improve one's professional prospects. We also recognize the knowledge motive, but we excluded it because we wanted to focus on motives that are more likely to differ across the different clusters. And you see at the bottom the uh, source for the list of 
volunteer motives. So using these motives and the questions that define them, we were able to create five different clusters. So this is work in progress, so the names are um, provisional, but what is important to highlight is that we are able to distinguish the different um, people participating in the survey in groups that uh, tap into very specific typologies of users. So we have the wiki enthusiasts, active or passive. We have individuals that are mildly interested, so are medium in most values, but also we have the disinterested and those who simply read. So they believe with the general philosophy, but don't participate in the community. So let's look at whether this clustering exercise was able to say something about trust and propensities. So starting with trust, most participants tend to be trustworthy, although we don't find significant differences for what concerns generalized trust. We are still working on different dimensions of trust, the one that I'm mentioning now is the trustworthiness in Wikipedia, once again, is not significantly different across clusters. Another propensity is how do you believe that what you do can actually change the world? So we see that cluster four, which was the active enthusiast, is the one that is more um, engaged and invested in um, different types of mobilization, believing that it will affect the political process. When it comes to affordances, we have we divided the, um, the analysis into three dimensions, perception about rules, where we find once again that cluster four is the one that is more perceptive, perception about functioning and use patterns. And here is the interesting part, because we find for once that there is one cluster that is not cluster five that is very active. So as you can see, from this preliminary analysis, a cluster, this clustering exercise is promising. We'll see what the future holds, and we're very much looking forward to your feedback and comments.